Yo, 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 how you guys doing? Welcome to the video. This is Ryan Knows Tech with techinform.us, our technology blog. And by popular request, we're going to be taking a look at at least how I clean my MacBook Pro. This can pretty much go for any Mac, any electronic device. There's not a whole lot of science to it. I think this is just a great way to do it. I try to keep my technology clean and looking like it's in good shape. So uh, I try to do this about once a week, once every two weeks, depending on how dirty it gets from average use. You know, oil on your fingers, maybe you're eating something. People touch the screen, which pisses me off, but it happens. So uh, we're going to do it in class today with a little chamois here from Hal Martin's Jewelry in Houston, Texas, thanks to the KRVR, our sponsor this week, youtube.com slash the KRVR. Some awesome uh, couple technology reviews, watch reviews, and some pretty awesome blogs. So be sure to check that out, top link down below. And then uh, we also have a uh, just like a little cotton cloth here, which uh, is pretty good on the screen. And uh, like I said before, we're doing this in class and style with a glass goblet full of H2O, otherwise uh, known as uh, water for you morons out there, I guess. But you want to make sure you've got your computer off. If you do it on, well, you're the moron that I was just talking about. So I don't, definitely don't recommend that. From here, it's pretty much not rocket science. Put a little bit of water on there. You're not going to hurt it if you get it on the apple. Don't freak out. I want it to give the thing a bath, though. I pretty much just go over it with this cloth. Don't drown it. Don't do anything stupid if you do. It's your fault, not mine. And that's pretty much all you're going to need on this top cover. If you've got anything else on there, uh, I know somebody came to me. They said they got tape on it for some reason. Talking about those morons. But uh, Goo Gone would work on it. I do not recommend gasoline. That might do something to the aluminum finish, and that's never good. So there's the top. That's pretty straightforward. Doing the bottom is the same thing. However, I definitely recommend putting down something so you don't put this straight down on aluminum uh, on the countertop, which I am going to do now because I don't have anything else. I'll just be sure I don't move it around. A little bit of water on there. Again, don't get too rambunctious with it, and uh, I'm really going to be careful. I do not want to grind crap into my Mac here. If you get anything, a uh, little black scuff mark there, it looked like, came right out. Again, anything else, Goo Gone is a great product. Definitely not being sponsored by them this week, but uh, just Google it. If you don't know what it is, you can probably find it at Walmart. So that looked like it worked pretty well. The inside, definitely uh, one of the more important parts of this machine. Don't go crazy with the water here because that would be stupid. There I am. We'll start off with the screen. Pretty much just take this and dip it in the water. Again, this is just a light cotton cloth. A little damp like that, nothing too special. And then just pretty much go over the screen. Make sure you get in the corner there around the bezel. I notice that's a part that's always dirty for me. It's like uh, when I lift it up, when I get the lid, I put my finger up there by the camera. And that gets a little bit dirty. And then I try to use uh, the other side of the cloth that is not wet to dry that off. You can see the pattern there. Looks like I got another wet spot in the cloth. But you could at this point use some microfiber. The thing with microfiber is it is really bad at absorbing water. So I wouldn't take a microfiber to it until you've got it as dry as possible with your first cloth. About like that. And then you can take your microfiber to it if you're going to be more anal about it and go over and maybe buff out a couple smears that... Uh, came about with the other cloth. Looks like that's in good shape there. And then your keyboard. Uh, probably one of the biggest things on this machine that you want to keep clean. The oils that you get on here. You can see, uh, you can always tell if you're a, a right thumb or a left thumb for your space bar. I happen to be a right, so you can see that big shiny spot there. Personally, I have never found anything that is a perfect removal for that. I don't know what to use. I don't want to try anything too abrasive that's going to hurt the keyboard. It's not a big deal, but you can see it in the right light. Just like the screen, I'm going to go ahead and dip my cloth and that goblet over there and then just go over it. Make sure you do not get it too wet. You definitely do not want water getting down there in your uh, in your keyboard. I pretty much just go over it. Again, the computer is off at this time so you can kind of press and drag across like this. That's not going to get rid of that uh, the oil marks on there but it definitely will help. And then from there I'll just go over the trackpad. Usually that's a dirty place if you eat uh, whether you use the computer and the palm rests here up along the side and then the hinge. That's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot more than that. I've seen people uh, get like friggin' toothpicks and go in and out of the keys. I don't know how many of you guys are actually that filthy that you have like pieces of food in your keyboard. That's disgusting. But you could always go get a vacuum cleaner and suck that out. If you have anything else on there, uh, leave, leave me a comment. You know, maybe some household cleaners. Windex probably wouldn't hurt. Uh, I always use water though. I've always heard water on LCDs is, is a better idea than anything else. 
Uh, any other dirty places, uh, like the ports over here, once in a while I'll just take a small vacuum cleaner and go in there and suck any dust out of the ports that I don't use here. Other than that, this machine's in really good shape. I plan on keeping it until the next MacBook Pros come out, and then I'll look at something else. But that is the basics of how I keep this thing clean. looks really good when you're done, and it shouldn't hurt anything as long as you don't, you know, submerge the thing in water. So hopefully you learned something there from this video. If you do like the content, please uh, take the liberty to subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps all of us out here in the tech community. Our website is techinform.us. My Twitter is twitter.com slash jamesrschultz for all kinds of fun and exciting news. And I'll talk to you guys if I make a video tomorrow on Friday then, and if not, have a fantastic, mo uh, fantastic weekend, and I'll talk to you guys Monday. Bye-bye.